Hello dear students, welcome to ECE Academy Benefactor. The topic of the class is types of hazards. This topic is from combinational logic circuit. The subject name is digital electronics. In our previous class, we have seen what is hazard and how it is occurring in a combinational circuit and we have understood using a waveform. In this class, we will be seeing what are the different types of hazards and how to make a circuit hazard free. So, let me quickly define what is hazard. Hazard is unwanted switching transient that may appear at the output of a circuit. Okay? So, it is an unwanted switching transient. What the hazard do? It do the malfunctioning of the circuit. It means it does not show the right output value. The main cause of hazard is the propagation delay which is occurring at different paths. So, now in this class let us see what are the different types of hazards. In a combinational circuit, we are having static 1 hazard, static 0 hazard and dynamic hazard. Okay. So, what is static 1 hazard? If the output goes momentarily 0, static 1 means it should be held to 1, the output should be held to 1, but it is going momentarily to 0. When it should remain at 1, the hazard is known as static 1 hazard. So, it is easy to remember also static 1, the output state should be 1, but how it is changing? Momentarily it is changing to 0. If the output goes momentarily 0, when it should remain at 1, the hazard is known as static 1 hazard, static 0 hazard static 0 hazard means the output is supposed to stay at 0, but it is momentarily changing to 1. If the output goes momentarily 1, when it should remain 0, the hazard is known as static 0 hazard. Dynamic hazard, if the output changes 3 or more times, when it should change from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 the output when it is changing from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 only one change should appear, but if the output is changing 3 or more times then it is known as dynamic hazard. So, these uh, hazards are occurring in combinational circuits. So, in the waveform form we can explain like this static 1 hazard, the output should be at 0 at 1 sorry, the output should be held to 1 but it is momentarily changing to 0. So, this is known as static 1. Static 0 means the output is supposed to be 0, but it is momentarily changing to 1. So, it is a static 0 hazard. Dynamic hazard, when the output is changing from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1, but it is changing number of times. It should have this transition only one time, but it is occurring more than 3 or more times and we say it is a dynamic hazard. How can we make the combinational circuit hazard free? Why it is necessary to make it hazard free? Because it is giving malfunctioning, it is having malfunctioning because it is not showing the right value of output. So, let us see how can we make the hazard free realization. Let us assume that this is a K map for a given circuit. And when we do grouping, we do group this way. Okay, so the by grouping, we are getting the output or the Boolean expression to be as y is equal to x1, x2 for this term, x1, x2, and for this one, it is coming as x2 bar x3. Okay, so for this particular K map, we are getting this. Boolean expression. Now, this circuit will have some hazard. To overcome this hazard, what we have to do? We have to introduce one more group like this. So, we are enclosing this group here. Previously, this circuit there is a possibility of 
obtaining a hazard. So, this two ones if they are enclosed like this we will get an additional term of x 1 x 3. We are having these two terms x 1 x 2 x 2 bar x 3 along with this by enclosing this we got another term x 1 x 3. So, it is resulting in the additional end gate it is increasing the complexity of the logic circuit as well as the cost is increased, but to, to avoid the malfunctioning of the circuit to make it hazard free it is uh, required to do the enclosing here. So, in this way we can eliminate the hazard which I have written it in words eliminating hazards for example, if the circuit has main terms x 1 x 2 plus x 2 bar x 3 then these two main terms may be enclosed by introducing another main term x 1 x 3. So, what happens for if any propagation is delay is there that can be compensated by this additional term. Then one more uh, term which you come across hazards is essential hazards. So, let us define essential hazards. Essential hazard may occur in asynchronous sequential circuit. So, we have seen static 1 hazard, static 0 hazard, dynamic hazard in combinational circuit, but there is a possibility of hazard in asynchronous sequential circuit that is known as essential hazard. An essential hazard is caused by unequal delays along two or more paths that may originate from the same input. Such hazards can be eliminated by adjusting the amount of delays in the affected path. So, hazard is um, the common reason for hazard is the propagation delay at different paths. What is essential hazard? When a hazard is occurring from the same input, from the same input there are two or three different paths where and while traveling through those paths if there is unequal delays it results in essential hazard. Essential hazards occurs in asynchronous sequential circuit. I hope you have understood the class. If you have any queries you can post in the comment section. Thank you. Good luck students.